Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Tyler. And I'm Luke. And welcome to the Love Live Sunshine Season 2 finale discussion, where we're going to go <laughs> back... Uh, I'm, I don't even want to do the intro. We're going to go back, take a look at Season 2, and discuss everything we thought about it, you know, compare it to some other seasons, talk about our favorite moments, that kind of stuff. And let me tell you, I, I was, like, maximum not looking forward to this episode, no, if we're being that. honest here. Like, I, I don't want to be here right now. I don't want to think of new bonus episodes every week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. That's also <laughs> what I was fearing. I was like, man, now we got to think about... Uh, we got, like, one planned out, but that's one. We yeah, that's think one of a week new one done. every week now. Oh, we gotta think. Oh, we gotta start next week. It begins. I know it's right. No, no. It's breaks. tragic, dude. Um, oh well, we have to record later. Th- anyway, whatever. Anyway, hi everybody. So, like I said in this episode, we're just gonna kind of take a look back at season two, just kind of give our thoughts on it, and uh, you know, talk about what we love. So, I thought I, I think that the fair place to start is like you already said it in the last episode, but Luke, did you like this season? Of course, I love this season. Um, I I don't. Do we want to compare them? It's tough. I, I I love this season. I love this season. What about you, Tyler? I think you I think you liked it a lot. Uh, yeah, I liked it a lot. I thought it was really strong. I don't have like a definitive ranking where I'd put this, but. I, uh, I I do I do really like it. I thought it was way more way more good than bad. Um, mm-hmm, I thought yeah. there were there were some like kind of questionable boys in there, but I I, th- I think we'll get to it today. So. What, what can you do? You're watching Moe trash anime, like it happens. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll, uh, we'll 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 get there. So I'm we're both on the same page that we actually like the show. So that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Although yeah, love, I wasn't. I don't actually know what would happen if we both watched this and then didn't like it. Like, can you imagine the disappointment if this just ended up being awful? Like, actually. It just ended up being the worst season ever. Yeah. The worst anything ever. Like, it's happened where it's like, people are looking forward to this and then all of a sudden it comes out like when it's previously shown like super quality and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, it's the worst. Could you imagine if we were looking forward to Blend S every week instead of this? That would have been a tragedy. That would have been a real travesty. Yeah, that would have been a big travesty. The big thing that comes to mind is Berserk 2016, but it's not the same studio, so it's not... uh, Whatever. I don't even want to talk about it. (laughs) Um, So I... How do I put this? You want you want you want to talk about some things we uh, we liked about it first? Maybe a few things we didn't like about it. While yeah, let's we're talk still about a few topic. things. Let's talk about let's talk about characters and how much how great the characters were this season. Just strictly better oh, than last can, season. But before we talk about characters, can we talk about like the overarching kind of like like sound Narrative. design, like kind of like all right. Let, let, what I'm trying to get at here is the animation and the sound was really good. Is what yeah, I wanted to it, say. It was the best. In, in all of Love and that's a, that's, a, like, that's a really good thing that they've consistently made everything better every season. I don't have, like, an eye for noticing, like, really, really good animation compared to something that I already think is really good. Like, I watched Sunshine, Sunshine Season 1, I'm like, yeah, that's really good, that's fine. That, that's good, But yeah. it was so noticeable in the very first episode, even the voice acting, I was like, holy hell, the quality mm, just yeah. skyrocketed, it was crazy. They're, they're ready I, to dump every single penny they have into it. Oh, they know. They know that the more pennies they dump into it, the more pennies the they're going to receive. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I just remember, like, I mean, we're all used to it now because we all sat through 13 episodes of it, but I, it was just such, like, a shock just to be like, whoa. It could have just been the fact that we haven't seen Love Live for, like, a few no. months before that, so. <laughs> I do think the animation quality in episode one was better than most of the other episodes. I do think they, like, pumped it up a little bit at the beginning. I agree. Um, um, but but with that being said, the overall quality, even if you exclude episode one, was better than the other seasons. Of course, we still have like the famous sunrise, like potatoes in the background, but what can you do? That's so charming. I wouldn't trade that for anything, if we're being honest here. <laughs> um, so I, I do think now is a good time to jump into characters if you wanted to hop into that. Whew, there was some good character stuff this season. Uh, we had my, one of my personal favorites was Daya, the whole Daya arc. Um, I really enjoyed that all that. That just single-handedly made me... I, I, I couldn't... Because I had Daya last on my on same, my, same. on my Love Live Girls. And I... Let, let me say, like I, I was looking at some old tier lists, and I felt like an innate disgust for myself for having Daya that low after this season. I couldn't have Daya that low. And I it, this this episode was like... Well, this episode plus all the following episodes that kind of like really showcased her character development after that. Really, really... like. I felt like a bad person for having died that low. 
Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Um, the uh, everything with Daya the season was 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 really great. She she had a lot of great character development. Um, now I'm just repeating what you said. So <laughs> it's okay. Um, uh, let's let's see. Uh, before we let's 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 name some some not good things before we jump into this because we have a lot more good things to say and like we say we want to end on a positive note so we're not awake in the power, I guess. Um, okay. I, I wish that Yo had a lot more screen time this season. If we're being completely, I mean, like, real what with can ourselves. you do? She had a, she had so much screen time in the first season. Like, it's it, we they, people people complained about how much screen time she had in the first season. Like, it's fine. She she had a bunch in the first season. You you got you got nine characters that you gotta that you gotta uh, develop. And she I know, just but didn't we got much. so much Chica and Rico. Like, so much. I just think they they, they could have squeezed a little bit more yo in there. They 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 had the ability to. That's what I'm saying. Just because you like yo more. I mean, if it, if there was no Rico either, <laughs> I would say the same thing. <laughs> no, um, I, I I felt like her. She she was fine. She she showed up quite a bit in the last like uh, three or four episodes. Like it, it was it was fine. <laughs> she had a lot in the first season. How and, dare you have a differing opinion? Yeah, than I me. know, right? <laughs> uh, if we want to like take like a little leap back to episode quality, real quick. Um, it's not, like, a personal negative, because I understand, like, I, I follow the story, I'm in love with Love Live, like, I, I, I was on for the ride regardless of this, if this was, like, garbage or not. There, there was a patch in the middle of this season. I think it started on, like, episode 5, and it went through, I think, episode 7 or 8, where, to the average viewer who's just, like, watching anime, like, man, it was probably a little boring for them. Yeah, like, I, I, I that, can understand that. That, that whole, like... Yeah, that whole patch of just, like, kind of, like, character drama, school drama with, like, a lot less jokes, a lot less gaffes, a lot more just really serious, like, <laughs> come on, boys, we gotta save the school kind of thing. And I, I like that, it's just, I don't think that for a, a regular, like, casual audience, they would have been too entertained by that. And it showed, because I was following this one, um, I don't remember what it was, but it showed, like, the top ten anime for the season based on popularity. And Shun Sunshine, I think, at the point of the Daya episode was number one. And that I was awesome. And two. then right after that... No, it was on number one. It peaked, um, and then it um, and then it kind of just like steadily went down from there, and then eventually it just kind of left, and that's it. Yeah, because it sucked. I, yeah, bad anime. So I can understand how like a casual, just like anime only viewer would would look at that and see that. So I, I understand. No, but I but like I, I don't think most people that are watching season two of Love Live Sunshine like are the casual. They 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 like Love Live. You know, ninety percent of the people that are probably watching. And like I, online rankings don't mean anything. Same with the Oscars. Hopping back into characters, um, one one of our um, if you go back and watch our hopes for season two video, one of the things I said was I hope Ruby gets an actual episode, and she got two. Well, she got like a two parter. And the first episode, I was like furious. If you remember that uh, that for episode no good discussion, reason. I was I was like I hate Lantis, I hate Sunrise, I hate myself, I hate Ruby now. And then the next episode was Awaken the Power, and I was like, okay, never mind. There's a Band-Aid now, everything's fine. So, yeah, we, we got my hope. We got the big Ruby development. We got everything I wanted. And, yeah, I was really happy, and people in the comments noticed. They're like, oh, hey, Tyler. <laughs> Here's your episode. Hey, you idiot. We knew you'd like it. Yeah, you boy's an idiot, I will admit. Uh, for I, I saw the first part of Awaken the Power, as in, like, the episode before it, and I was like, this is trash, I hate this, I'm so mad. Not that it was bad, but I just thought it didn't do Ruby very much justice. And then the next episode did her that justice. So hey, we're good. We talked a little bit about the some some of the stuff that happened in the narrative, some of the character stuff. Let's talk about music. Let's talk about what we what we do around here. Music. Tyler, what was your favorite song from the season? If you had to narrow down one, what was it? Jeez. Uh, oof. My favorite song from a purely musical perspective. Well, then again, this is saying without Waterloo, New World, and. Uh, Wonderful Stories being fully released, but I feel like we got most of Wonderful Stories and Water Blue New World. Eh, I don't see it. I don't see it coming up, and, and and sneaking up on these two. So my favorite musically thus far is Awaken the Power. Like unquestionably, I, I love that song. That song's awesome. I am a, um, even with the problems we had with it. Um, but I do think Wonderful Stories has like a Bokutachi vibe to it, where it's like the song might just be like you know, okay to, like, pretty good, but the emotional impact it has on you kind of skyrockets itself up the ranks, at least for me. So, gonna have to gonna have to give that one a wait and see which one I end up listening to more. Spoiler alert, 
right now it's wonderful stories. I've listened to like the anime size wonderful stories like I don't know, like thirty times. Whereas Wicked the Power is hanging out at like only twenty or something. So so there's that. What about you, Luke? Well, I really like the music in this season. Um, it's pretty. It's gonna hit me up in about three or four months, and I can tell you which season I like more of the music for. It's pretty close. Um, but if I had to choose one song, uh, I'm gonna choose two instead. Um, <laughs> so okay. I really loved uh, "My My Tonight" when it happened. I was like, "Yo, this is gonna be one of my favorite songs." And when "Miracle Wave" happened, I was like, "This is gonna be right up there." If I had to choose one of them, uh, probably "My My Tonight" squeaks it out. But those those two those two are gonna be one of, two of my favorite love life songs for a long time. You got the fleeting Umi vibes. Yeah, in that yeah, song. yeah. And I, 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 I mm, the percussion in my my in, not my my tonight in uh, Miracle Wave really 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 gets me going. I love it. It's it's really good. I think that's probably the best part of the song in my yeah. opinion. Uh, I don't I don't want to go through this like with categories. We're just trying to hit everything that we we want to talk about in the season and not have you guys be here forever. Um. Do you want do you want to go ahead and just talk about what we like what what do you think we're going to remember most from this season? Our favorite if moments. Had... Yeah, let's let, let's hit those up. I think for me, my favorite moment it was it was a pretty it's pretty close. Episode 2 was probably my favorite episode from the season. Um it just And again, for everybody that that's the one where they uh they all split up into different groups. The second years went and did whatever else and then all the other years just kind of hung out and listened to Mari play metal, yeah, right? Yeah, I was, I was getting there. Um Oh, just, I'll just make a Episode check. two was probably my favorite episode in the season. Uh, it just stuck with me. All the goofs and gaps in that one, and the good good moment in the shrine was 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 really great, uh, and led into my my tonight pretty well. The which was in the next episode, um, but I think the moment that will stick with me is just the PV for Miracle or not Miracle Wave, um, Wonderful Stories. Just that entire scene, everything that happens in there, all the changing to outfits. All the little, all the little, you know, sneaks they got in there. All the little Easter eggs. That that that'll stick with me for a long time. That was good stuff. That is really good stuff. That kind of leads into mine. Um, honorable mention. I didn't want to say Ruby twice, uh, although I do think like that whole awaken the power kind of like uh, Hokkaido scene with uh, Saint Snow. Just just the whole like, hey, we're we're in the snow town now. This was really memorable for me this season. But I, I gotta give gotta give the edge to wonderful stories, especially in the lead up to. Oh wait, no, this is the episode before it. But still, uh, no, mainly the part where Chica's going around asking everybody why they wanted to become school idols, and then everybody has like their own two minute segment dedicated to them, where it was like the second half of the episode. That'll probably stick with me the most. It's just, uh, it was really yeah. Good. That that brought the feels I, in full force. I saw like. She, I saw her do it to like the first two girls, and I, I, I budgeted this. I was like, "This is gonna be the rest of the episode." I know <laughs> it, and it was, and I was okay with it. Uh, and then it led into Water Blue New World, which is a good song. So yeah, cool. yeah, really, really, really. I, I think got your heart cranked. That out. was the second to last song, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water Blue New World, yeah. Oh, I know. I mean, I knew that, but I mean, that was the second to last episode. Yeah, right? Not yeah, the that last was the episode. second to last. The, okay, okay. Oh yeah, the last episode was all about the closing ceremony. Yeah, and closing right? ceremony. Okay. And and, and feels. Oh, we're forgetting the, we're forgetting the sleeper most memorable part when everybody got married around the bonfire. Mm. Mm. Ooh, we're forgetting the sleeper sleeper most memorable part where uh, Bari said, "Sorry, I can't speak Japanese." No, we're forgetting the sleeper 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 most memorable part when Mari said, "Whoops." Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or or, or what? Yeah, what? Those are great. We had some good Mari English this season. In the first episode alone, I just remember like. Everything about the first episode like blew me away, like from the quality to the the voice acting. And I remember Mari had so much English the first episode; it was lovely. Stop we had, the this. We had yeah. so much like emotional Mari this season, which is cool because we were kind of used to her being like the kind of kind of like borderline comedic relief, like it's joke type, you know. And but but whenever really like neat. serious moments did happen, Mari was Mari was the first one to like lead to big big boy emotions, you know. And I think, yeah, no, I think I that's, that was great. I think that we definitely realize now, like the characters feel so fleshed out. Um, we we had ideas of what they might be like from the first season, but now we now we know what they are like. I, I'd feel comfortable being like, this is who they are, and like they they mm -hmm. all got the development they needed, you know. Yeah, um, yeah everybody got development is great. Mm -hmm. I just I always relay this back to SIP, where it's like the characters themselves are like pretty good, like you know they're they're fine characters, um, but. 
I, I don't like comparing and contrasting the two because, you know, there, there's a lot more experience and a lot more production value that went into Sunshine, but, like, man, do Sunshine characters kind of just knock SIP out of the park in terms of, like, actual character development. Like, oh my goodness. Like, even if you're just trying to watch the show, j like, just, just for the anime, just for the characters, man, Sunshine is so good. Yeah, I, I don't think any of them, either, you know, cast is, is these super deep, you know, methodical characters that have all these all these parts about them. But the the I've said it before, and I'll say it again, and we'll say it again. SIP characters, unfortunately, kind of fell into tropes on wheels, tropes on legs, tropes um, on wheels. tropes on wheels. Uh, that's a Katawa Shoujo reference, and um, so that kind of unfortunately happened. But the season two characters were made, uh, Sunshine characters were made for TV, and so kind of uh, you know their characters were much more fleshed out from the beginning. I just, oh, man, Good there's boy. there's so much, there's so much I, I want to actually say. No, it's a, well, I mean, okay. <laughs> um, I, uh, I don't even know where to go from here. This is just, I didn't want this episode to come. I didn't want. Oh, well, you can kind of end this on like a happy note. Um, the movie won't be a retelling, like all Sunshine movies are, or Sunrise rather. Like especially except, with except for except for the SIP movie. Yeah, the, the other, the other love, love black movie. sheep. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's cool. That's um, hypey. It's gonna, it's gonna. It, uh, I can't wait for it to come out. Hopefully, we get a th get it up in a theater in Alaska. We won't. <laughs> Was SIP I'll, released in a theater? I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Uh, well, it might not, actually, I'm not even sure well, if it got released in. Th well, it did get released in theaters in America. I'm pretty sure. It almost certainly wouldn't be subbed, would it? I don't actually it would know be anything subbed. about this. I'm, 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 I'm so sure it'd be subbed. Hmm. Let us know down below. Um, so do you want to kind of end this? Like, do do you have like a general idea where you'd rank this season among the others? If if I if I dare ask. Um. Mm. Uh, we, uh, it was it was really good. Uh, if I had to rank them, I I might say this is about the same level as Sunshine season one, if not slightly better. Uh, in terms of character stuff, it was obviously it, it, it was better. I feel I feel pretty concretely about that. Um, songs go, which is which is obviously a huge part of, of, of each season of Love Live. As far as songs go, Sunshine season one might squeak it out a little bit. So they're pretty they're I pretty agree. close, but um, it, it was it was great. It was great. I I, I do feel um, Sunshine is pretty concretely better than SIP. No matter how much how lovable and how memorable those characters are, I do feel as a as a series. Right now, Sunshine is stronger than SIP. Not that it matters, um, but if I had to rewatch one of them again, I'd, I'd, I'd rewatch Sunshine at this point. I agree. And by stronger, you just mean like the actual animated series, like not taking yeah, into the songs, actual animated like, series, not 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 counting in songs, even just counting in songs from the series, but counting anything outside of there. Um, I would I would take watching Sunshine season one and two over watching SIP season one and two. I agree. I, I can agree with you. I'm almost positive I like the songs from Sunshine Season 1 more than 2. I mean, it has me Juke Dreamer, which is my favorite song of all time. And this season has, has two really, really good ones. But, man, I mean, not to say that me Juke Dreamer was the only good song from SIP Season 1. I just think it Sunshine had... Sunshine Season 1. It, did I say it again? Yeah, ah, Sunshine Season 1. I know. Um, but I, I do think that SIP... Oh, my God! <laughs> he's, he's stroking out, guys. Uh, let us know do down below how we Sunshine can help him. I do think that Sunshine Season 1 had the, I don't want to say more variety either, because we did get like quite a bit of variety this time. It's just, I I don't know, this all comes down to personal preference. I, I think I like the songs from uh, Sunshine, Sunshine Season 1 more, so, so there's that. And we don't have we but, don't have the full version of two of them, so, so give us a couple months and we can come back to you. And um, e even like, just like ignoring animation and sound quality, like if it's just like strictly story, I feel like SIP, oh my lord! That is like the seventh time I said that. Stroking Sunshine, out, I, Sunshine season one, I think was a little bit more group orientated. I mean, of course, like the first season is like it's like, hey, let's form our group, and you don't even have the full members until episode nine. Um, whereas this one was a lot more like, let's dive into the actual like individual deepness of the characters, for lack of a better word, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. And I know exactly. I, I think it all comes down to like what you what you like more. Do you like a like a starting from nothing and getting to like somewhere decent story or do you like dive it into the minds and having it be like a pseudo character study you know so i think that's what it comes down to yeah yeah both really great all four seasons are awesome like 
was talking about which one I'd choose, I'd just still watch SIP in an instant. It's still great. SIP is still really good. Yeah. I like that movie. Um, my girlfriend's watching the um, the entirety of Love Live, and soon she's going to be at the movie, so that's there just another excuse to watch it again and cry at the whole 15 minutes of Sunny Day Song plus Bokutachi at the end. There it is. It's easy. The waterworks are a-coming. So, we hope you guys enjoyed Season 2 as much as we did. And if, if I may be so bold to ask Luke in the middle, Luke, may, may we ask everything that we... Uh, that, that we that we talked about ourselves today yeah, for of course, our commenters of down below. Give us your favorite character moment. Give us your favorite song. Give us your most memorable moment. And uh, where you would rank these? It, obviously, you yeah, don't gotta let's... rank them. How you? F- but just tell us, you know, how you felt overall about the season. And we are we are just <laughs> clear the air here. We are very happy to be making bonus episodes every week, but <laughs> we're just very sad to see this series go like this. This whole episode discussion series and oh. on luck. So, I mean, very soon, like very, very soon, like I think next episode actually, right? Are we, are we starting our, um, no, I know next episode we're doing Azor, Jumping Heart, and Humming Friend. Yeah, but we're also but... doing uh, the, the Chica Solo. Oh yeah, check that out. Um, so, I'm happy we're getting more songs, but we are doing like the, the pseudo episode discussions in our, um, in our actual episode podcast. Yeah, yeah. Like kind of like doing like three episodes at a time, talking about Sunshine Season 1, so... Hey, if you want to talk about Sunshine Season 1, out. stay tuned. Stay tuned. So, yeah, I don't I don't know how to end this. I'm kind of just like, I've been in this perpetual sad voice state for the past week and a half. Let's end it with uh, 10 hours of crying noises. <laughs> this, this video will be uh, <sighs> 10 hours, 23 minutes long. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching. And thanks for watching our other 32 videos about this season. We appreciate it. Yeah, all 32 of them. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys. See you guys later this week.